For number seven, the question asks us to go backwards. We're given a confidence interval for a proportion, and we're asked to solve for the sample size. The sample size is what we normally denote as n. Okay, so we need three different parts of the formula to plug in. We need the z alpha over two, we need to know what p is, and we need to know the margin of error. Okay, so 95% confident, the z alpha over two is a 1.96. Okay, so the z alpha over 2 squared is a 1.96 squared. Solving for the z alpha over 2 is something that we've done in several previous videos, so if you're confused by this part, go back to a previous video and, um, and review how to find the z alpha over 2. The um, slightly more challenging parts is to solve for the p and the margin of error. Okay, so first let's solve for the margin of error. I know that the margin of error is one half of the width of the interval and the width is always the larger number minus the smaller number so the larger number is a 0.561 and the smaller number is a 0.517 so when I subtract them I get the width and then multiply by one half I get a 0.022 is the margin of error in this confidence interval. So on the denominator, I'm going to have a 0 0.022 squared. Okay, now solving for p. So when we're solving for n before we have a confidence interval, the p is either going to be a guess or an estimate what the proportion is, or we're going to use 0.5. When the interval is already constructed, what we're going to do is we're going to use the p hat. Okay, so how do I do this? I know that my, um, the interval is p hat minus the margin of error to p hat plus the margin of error. So if I look at my larger number, say, the 0.561, the 0.561 is p hat plus the margin of error. So if I subtract the margin of error, 0.561 minus 0.022, I get a 0.539 equals p hat. Notice I could have also found p hat by taking the average of the two numbers, of the low number and the high number, because p hat is always in the middle of the interval. So my interval is really a 0.539, or p hat, plus or minus my margin of error, plus or minus 0.022. Okay, so first we solve for the margin of error, then we found p hat, so we can put the p hat in our formula for n. So the p hat is the 0.539, and 1 minus p hat, 1 minus 0.539, I'll just write it in that form. If I do all my multiplying and dividing, I get about an n equals 1,972.